Okay, in our last tutorial, we focused on the hand class. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend it. We're gonna make another class, and this is going to be the deck class. Now the hand class was the super class. The deck class will be considered a subclass. So another way of viewing this is we're gonna say that the deck class extends our hand class, because we're gonna take a hand and we're gonna make it more. We're gonna do more with it, okay? So it's a specialized type of the hand class. We're gonna say, we're gonna create a class, we're gonna call it deck, it's going to extend hand, okay? Now the attributes, we already have cards. So we're going to, um, we're gonna use that. It's already inherited, so I don't think we'll have to even touch it. So all we really need to do is work on the code that's different. So that's gonna be our methods. And we're gonna have three main methods. Okay, and probably we're gonna take one or more videos for each one of these methods uh, that we go over. First one we're gonna talk about is how to take uh, and populate our deck with every card possible. So we need to take into account all of our ranks as well as all of our suits. Okay, so we're gonna create that. Then it's gonna be interesting. We get our first real um, computer science algorithm type thing. We get to figure out how do you take a, an ordered list and randomize it? How do we shuffle it? So we're gonna look at one or more um, algorithms for doing that, and then we're gonna implement it. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at pseudocode as we do it. So we're gonna start with pseudocode and use that to sort of develop it. And then finally, we're gonna have, the final method will be, as a deck, you need to be able to deal out cards to the various hands. And so you determine all the hands, and it's gonna be a list of hands, or an array list of hands. And then um, we're gonna deal out cards to each hand, okay? So uh, that's how we're gonna do it. Let's go ahead and go to our project now. Here's our project, and um, what we need to do is add a new class, and this class is gonna be based on our hand, and we're gonna call it deck. So I want you to right click on your project, and you're gonna choose new class. And now, guess what we get to do? We get to call it a deck, and now the super class is not just object, it's actually our project Oh, uh, it's not showing it on here. I thought I'd browse for it and find it just real easily. Um, hold on a second. Let me test something. There's probably a way you can do it right from here. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. I'm going to click finish. And we're going to just go ahead and code the class. And what we're going to write is deck extends hand. Okay. So with that little extra line of code, we now are making the deck a subclass of hand. And there's actually two different ways you can do this. And the way we're doing this um, is making this a child class. And uh, let me just, we're going to focus on that. And on another day, I'll cover the talking about um, implementing an abstract class. We're not going to do that for this. We'll save it for a later day. So we need to create our methods. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna populate our deck. We are not gonna actually add our constructor. We already have a constructor from the hand class. So we're gonna go ahead and create our uh, populate and we're gonna make it public. And in this case, uh, in order to populate our deck, we do not need to return any value. Okay, so it's a void method. And it's just populate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by showing you an algorithm using pseudocode for how to populate. It's a very straightforward one. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to loop through all of our all of our suits, and for each suit we want to add a card for every rank. So. Did you hear the language I used? I said for each rank, we're going to add one of each uh, suit, or for each suit, we're gonna add one card for every rank. So really, we're talking about a for loop, okay? So we're gonna use not only a for loop, but we're gonna use a for each loop. So let me show you what the algorithm is, and it's very straightforward. Okay, so here is the pseudo code for this. And so the idea here is we're gonna loop through all of our suits one at a time. 
So, of course, we have um, hearts, diamonds, spades, clubs. And for each one, we're going to loop through all the ranks. So we're going to start with ace and move all our way, uh, our way through king. And for each one of those ranks in each shoot, we're going to create a card. So we're going to set card to card. We're going to use the constructors. So we're going to create a new card. And we're going to use rank and suit to create the card. Now, that's going to be the rank in the current loop and the, and the suit in that particular loop. So it's called a nested loop. So we create our card, and then we're going to call cards.add, and we're going, to, we're going to put that card and add it to our suit. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, I, I believe it's this. I think it's for suit, suit, and suit.values. Okay. So there's our first for loop. Then we're going to loop through rank. Now, I'm doing suits first mainly because um, actually, I, I just think about there are fewer suits, so I make the outer loop have it fewer times. It's still going to loop the same number of times, so it probably doesn't matter. There's probably someone who's done performance tests on this, but we're just going to go ahead and do it. Um, so we, there's our nested for loop. So we're looping through the suits, and inside we're looping through the ranks. Hopefully this will work. And now we're going to put card, card equals new card. And now we're going to write uh, rank, comma, suit, like so. And then it should be cards dot add. OK. We have to, I forgot, there's a step I forgot in making my, um, making my extended class. Let me add that. All right, I'm going to backtrack a little bit. I deleted that line because, first of all, when we create our card, we should flip the card just so we can test it. Okay. I'm going to pull this out in just a moment. I want to be able to test it because in the deck, we shouldn't be able to see what's in it. But we're going to flip the card so that when we add it to the deck, we will get it. Now, like I told you before, this extends, deck extends hand. And remember, hand has cards in its constructor. Okay. So what I can do on the deck is if I write this, we're referring to this every individual deck we create. So this is actually, if you look here, you'll see we can add, we can clear, we've got equals, get class, notify, show hand. We're realizing we're getting all of the elements of the, the, the hand. So we already have add built right in, and we're just going to add that particular card after we flipped it. Okay? So this is how we code populating a deck so we loop through our suits loop through our ranks we create a card using the rank and suit we flip that card then we add the card now i've already prepped game to test this out so let me show you where i did that so if you go to game you see right here um i created a hand now watch this right here i created my deck So deck is D1. We create deck D1 equals new deck. And then notice we call the populate method. Now, if you didn't know it could do that, I'm just going to put a D1 dot. And you've got all this, add, clear, equals, etc. So there's populate. And then we did a system dot out dot print line. Deck has following cards. So let's just go ahead and run it. And when we run it, Let's take a look at our deck of cards. Okay, notice we, remember how we have the following cards. We have ace of hearts. Now notice they're all hearts, 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 hearts. Then it's all spades, and then it's all diamonds, and then it's all clubs. So that kind of reveals how this all looped. So the first outer loop was through the um, through the the blah, blah 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 the suits, and so the first suit happened to be hearts. So in that outer loop, in fact, I should probably kind of walk you through this window here. 
Okay, this is going to illustrate. Notice the outer loop is suit. And so what it does is it picks the first suit, which happens to be hearts. Okay, then it loops. Inside of that one loop, we loop again through all of our ranks. And that's ace, deuce, three, all the way to king. When we're done looping through all of our ranks, we end this once, and it takes us back out here, and we get the next value in suits, which is spades. And then we loop through all of our ranks for spades, from ace to king. Then we're done with the inner loop. We go back to the outer loop, and we loop through the suits again. And that's diamonds. And then we finally, when we're done with all the ranks in diamonds, we do it through all of the ranks in clubs. And then we're done with that outer loop, and we're done with the entire loop here. That is how you populate a deck of cards. Now in the next video tutorial, we're going to talk about how do we take that, which is a very organized deck, and how do we shuffle it. So we'll look at uh, algorithms some more in there as we look at it.